The Bengals get it at dawn at formerly Jack Murphy Stadium, now Qualcomm Stadium. The Cincinnati Bengals, baby, looking very reminiscent right now of the uh, 2000 Baltimore Ravens. I, I swear, basically, I, that's how I compare this team. Um, so, the uh, slightly better upgrade at receiver than that team. Well, obviously, Jamal Lewis was the power back and the feature back in that offense. But with our two-headed thunder and lightning attack, baby, it was good to see a little bit of running game going. Finally, uh, they went to their running game. And hey, can you can you can you can you score on our defense? Becomes the question. And defense should have just let up only them seven points, really. Uh, ben Jarvis Green Ellis does a fumble uh, right there at the end. This was basically almost a complete game. Andy, hey, I'm not gonna kill him for that interception. You know, that was basically like a almost like a punt. I know he had a, a pretty good return there, but it wasn't like it was a pick six. So I'll let him slide on that one for now. Uh, so there you that there you have it. The Bengals get it done. Last four games are going to be murder, though, boy, murder. Because I mean, yeah, we're at home against the Colts. It's going to be a, it's going to be a dog fight. Uh, on the other side, whoo, excuse me. Uh -oh. Can we beat the Colts? Uh, yeah, I, I like this. I love this. Actually, I love this against the Colts. So, we lost to Miami. We didn't cover against Buffalo. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a whole different conference. Oh, I'm getting confused. I don't know. It's a tough game. Colts is going to be a tough game. I got to look at the line. I don't like it if it's two and a half. I'm hoping we're three. And even in that, even at three, I don't like it. It's uh, Three can be uh, sh it's been real shady of late. But as far as from a betting aspect, but uh, I mean, you know, Andrew Luck's struggling right now. But, you know, I, I think he'll get out of that slump. But then again, so is Andy Dalton. Maybe Andy Dalton will get out of that slump. And uh, hopefully our defense can keep doing what it's doing. Because the only thing that Andrew Luck can do is throw the football. And he doesn't even have he doesn't even have Reggie Wayne. So I don't see Donald Brown being a problem. And uh, Trent Richardson just got benched. So he's a non-factor anyways. But then again, I, I don't know. He seems like his best games are against Cincinnati statistically I don't know I mean I, 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 I'm just taking a hunch here I think he did tear when he was in Cleveland he did tear us up so maybe he'll be a part of their game plan next week but overall just a, a, a complete game by Cincinnati unfortunately the Houston Texans couldn't get it done it looked like there was some moments there but Casey I can't score in the fourth quarter Keenum did it again didn't score that is uh, I'm rooting for Matt Schaub to get some playing time. Even though I'm not really truly a fan of his. I mean, I just feel like he, he just got done dirty. You know, he got hurt. Uh, and then they were like, oh, yeah, see ya. And, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, he did have one great season, basically. And, and they were a really talented football team. And he led them to the playoffs the last two years. Anyways, but I hear talking about the Houston Texans, but... Uh, it really, I mean, well, I mean, it was basically almost a complete game, except for these, you know, these four three and outs. Uh, but basically, almost a complete game. This defense, like I said, this game was on the defense, and the defense showed up. What we did to Jason Campbell was not a fluke. What we did in Baltimore, holding them to 17 at home, was not a fluke. So, really, just all around, this this has just been a really, really good team. Woo! <laughs> Really, really good defensive team. Been a long day. Really good defensive team, and uh, that's basically it. It's can you score on us now? Can you score more than two touchdowns on the Cincinnati Bengals becomes the question. Can you put more than 17 on us? If you can put 17 on us, that seems to be the magic. Well, not actually, it's 20. You got to put 20. So the question becomes, can you put 20 on Cincinnati? And once again, Andy, that, that's it. Can you put 20 on us? Because our offense is good for at least 17. <laughs> so can you put seven? Can you put 18 or more on the Cincinnati Bengal defense? And obviously, as long as Andy Dawn doesn't turn the ball over in, in the territory, in territory, and uh, we just do, uh, we just manage those things. Oh, I'm, I'm really interested to see how, how the rest of the season is going to play out. I, I hate to think back about that Miami game. And seen the wing win out, and we went out, and then you look back at that Miami game, game we had, hands down, won. 
won that game. Um, so, but hey, you know what? They, they got to play at Miami, and they got to go to Baltimore, too, back-to-back weeks. Uh, they'll have Baltimore night on a Sunday night, not a Thursday night. But, you know, so hopefully they can lose those two. It's possible. New England, I mean, almost impossible with Belichick. He hasn't lost two in a row in a long time. It could be possible New England hits a snag. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, well, their defense is su- their, their defense is suspect because they don't have Vince Wolfork. Um, so, they're, they're, but they're offensively right now they're just putting points up. Um, you know, 34 against I guess you know you could say a somewhat good Houston defense. Um, so. You know what I mean? So I, I really, you know, I, Baltimore's my Baltimore Miami have good defenses, but then again, their offense. Well, I mean, their offense could could probably move the ball. Uh, I think Miami's offense is, you know, Baltimore's offense is probably a little bit better, little better than Miami. So they could lose that Baltimore game. I I, I see us struggling though. Obviously, you just take it one game at a time, one play at a time. But you know, the fan in me always looking ahead. I see that Minnesota game being a bit of a problem right now. Minnesota's just playing really good football these last few weeks. Uh, Adrian Peterson's now running for yards. Um, they did not They stopped using Toby Gearhart, whatever. But uh, that that could be a problem. Uh, I don't know if Matt Castle played against us before while he was in New England. I'm not sure, or while he was in KC. So I'm not sure how historically he does against Cincinnati. Um, Ponder could be back though. Who knows? I know it's getting way ahead of the schedule, but that game could be a trap game for us. Um, but we finished our last two at home. I think Marvin Lewis will have these guys just focused, man. I think, like I said, that, that game's going to be tough though. I, I just got a bad feeling about that game. I could be wrong though. I know since I know Minnesota's basically one dimensional, but I'm a little worried, you know. But I think, you know. I think, you know, as long as we put Vincent Ray in, uh, Vincent Ray does a little bit better job stopping the run, in my opinion, uh, than, than Ray Mariluga. But, you know, Ray Mariluga played okay. And they gave Vincent Ray an equal amount of playing time. So he seemed like he was more on the pass coverage. I guess they give Burt. Um, but Burfick was, man, game ball to him, boy. Hurt and everything was out there playing his guts out. Played a hell of a game. Uh... So yeah, that's it. I'm sorry, I'm going to rant here a little bit. But yeah, so it was a hell of a game today. I'm hyped. You know, it sucks that New England lost. I'm just trying to get more excited. Because, uh, you know, next week's going to be another big week. Um, Basically next week, well, we got a two-game lead. And there's four games left. So, yeah. You know, but next week we just gotta keep it going, keep the pressure on the the ones. You know, keep the pressure on Denver, and uh, well, there's really no pressure on Denver. Just keep the pressure on New England to win out. Um, that's really all you can do, uh, basically at this juncture. You know, at this point, make them play. Make them play. You know, we keep winning, good. That means they gotta keep winning. Because Belichick might pack it in. Looking at looking at the 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 Denver schedule. If he has mathematically locked up the second seed, he's going to relax his team. And you don't want to give... I'm not saying he's going to relax the team, but... You know what I mean? He might go, okay... He might pull Brady at halftime at the last game of the season. So, you know, you want him, you want him playing to the very end. You want him fighting for every yard over there as well. Because um, it very well could be that we might have to go to Gillette Stadium. Uh, cause I, I see us, well, if we beat Indianapolis and went out, well, we'll see what happens. I, I mean, it's getting way too far in advance, but obviously we're going to have to go. If we win, if we finally win a playoff game, not since the good old Boomer and Sison against the Houston Oilers, um, hopefully, uh, we can, um, you know, we're out to go to, uh, Denver or New England, most likely. If we get the three seed, it will be New England, and if the four seed, we'll be going to Denver. Uh, however, that plays out. So, really, yeah, basically, this game uh, pretty much kind of, kind of, sort of sets up the seeding. 
because uh, we'll have tiebreaker advantage over the Colts then after that. Um, could the Colts lose down the stretch? I don't know. I think they play Jacksonville. Yeah. I, I don't know. I really don't know. And then, yeah, they're done playing the. I think they're done playing the, uh, the a NFC. Played St. Louis. Played San Fran. Played Seattle. And they, yeah, they played Arizona. So yeah, they're done. They're done there. Um, Do they play Houston again? I, no, I don't know. I think, they, I think they play Houston and Jacksonville. So you, you know, it's really tough. So whatever. I mean, whatever. But yeah, I still want us to win out. Obviously, see what happens. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, with the Colts, it's going to be a tough game. But I think I think we should win this game. Just the way our defense is playing, I don't see this letting up. It's just hot right now. I just don't see our defense. This is not a fluke. This is a great, great defense, an awesome defense. It's basically not letting up, letting up ten points a game uh, ever since the ever since the Detroit game. So, um. Really, really playing good. Just really gelling. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I really just don't see it. The way Andrew Luck is just struggling statistically. Uh, they were, you know, they got in field goal range. And Vinatieri, you, you probably have no problem kicking the ball at Paul Brown Stadium. So, you know, I, hopefully, uh, once again, to so this game, I, I don't see our defense struggling. So the next week's game is on Andy Dalton in the offense, basically. Um, and play calling. Hopefully, you know, the running games, you know, they stick with the running game, keep Andy Dalton at 25 to, you know, less than 30 pass attempts at, at most. 25, to, you know, 25 is a good number. Um, and Andy Dalton could get a few plays going. Only thing is, it was good to see Andrew Hawkins on some plays. I know they ran a screen to him, too, and then the, the big 60 yard play that really helped win the game. Uh, like you know, I like to see Sazenbacher get a few balls. So let him make a play, though. Let you know, let everybody get involved, you know. But eh, Sazenbacher's number hasn't been called in a while. Whatever, uh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, really, really, because that's you know that was you know I I like the short passing game, the little wide receiver screens, um, out to Sanu and just letting everybody get involved. Um, you know, really good. A little disappointed though, Dalton. He had Gresham on one play over the middle. It looked like still and, and still, just you know, I like to see us exploit the middle of the field. I guess it's just not there though sometimes. But it looked like Gresham was there to one play and he overthrew it. But he almost ended the season, though, in the beginning with that pass to AJ Green. I was like, oh my god, the franchise is hurt. <laughs> season would have been over for sure on that play. Anyways, this video is way too long. Anyways, but yeah, so Cincinnati Colts next week. I'll go over the game, basically, uh, a little bit more. We'll look at the line and historical data. I can't remember the last time we beat, in, uh, uh, beat Indianapolis. Usually we lose to them. See what happens, though. Hopefully Marvin Lewis can get his first win or his second win without you. If he did, he might have beat him once, to my knowledge. I got, I got to look at the numbers. So yeah, we'll look at we'll go look for so we'll go, so all all next week we'll cover that, give you the picks, the blazing five, and all that other good stuff. All right, take care, guys. Enjoy this this victory. Let's go for three in a row next week in week fourteen at PBS, baby. Who they who they who they think gonna beat them Bengals? Nobody.